Charles and Camilla collapsed due to Harry's brutal attack. UK is covered with fatigue. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Already heard Harry and Meghan's story and it was a pack of lies. To see intimate photos of them kissing is cringeworthy. Then Meghan acting like she's crying just as she did at the funeral of the late Queen. They need to just go away and stop victim playing as few are buying into their narrative. Photos used in the Netflix trailer that were taken at the palace seem were taken without the permission of the late queen, who was said to be very upset by it along with their behavior, which was said to have left her bewildered. Catherine is said to have stood up for the royal staff who alleged Meghan bullied them and was said that after that, Meghan had it in for Catherine along with William, who likely also stood up for them. Looked to me, it was an orchestrated plan from the start by Meghan to get back to California with the Netflix deal and the puppet. Her fake crying photos are disgusting. How low can she go? I don't blame the royal family for being sick of the pair of them. They are exhausting to the British public also. It seemed at the Queen's funeral, Harry was upset and she was really restraining herself from misbehaving, especially around Catherine who watched her like a hawk but as soon as they went home, it all started up again. She just cannot be quiet and leave them alone, out of jealousy and greed, probably. I hope they're not invited to the coronation. It would be better if they stayed home for everyone. Charles would gain a lot of respect if he acted. We already know how William feels. It was a sad day for all of us that Harry had to pick her out of all the beautiful, compatible women on the planet. The king and queen are not the only ones weary of their whining. 90% here in the U.S. want them to shut up and go away. Poor things, having to live on his inheritance from Diana, which would have accumulated to roughly $26 million. Median household income in the U.S. is $70,000, not the over $1.3 million in earnings his inheritance would generate. No one cares about what some minor, illiterate, fifth-rate actress thinks about anything. As to Harry, 90% of us know he's so thick that he couldn't pass the employment application tests given by convenience stores to work stocking shelves, and that he's eaten up with jealousy. All along, Megan's tried to make everything about race, but I think this is classic misdirection. Megan didn't know about prom genture and resented being second. Their romance was she wanted a rich English husband, and he fit the bill. Harry's staff reported Harry in a panic because if he didn't make a statement confirming that she was his girlfriend, she would dump him. Then if he didn't rescue her from the press, she would dump him. And Harry, screaming and shouting at staff as if he didn't announce their engagement, she would dump him. That is their love story. Megan's medical history is incredibly secret, but friends speak about abortions and freezing her eggs. Not an uncommon practice for wealthy Americans. There is really credible evidence to suggest that at 40 plus, she needed a surrogate. In the U.S., that wouldn't matter, but we have a law which has escaped reform when it comes to succession and titles. Read the Tattler magazine, Thursday, 4th March, 2021, and it explains that even if both biological parents just use the surrogate to carry, legally in the UK, the child belongs to the surrogate and must be legally adopted by the biological mother. That adoption breaks the line of succession and the child cannot inherit the father's titles. Is this why the king has not given Harry's children titles? Is this the reason they departed in a hurry because they were found out? Nothing to do with race at all, but deception. A royal audience spoke up. Aren't we all feeling weary with all of this? I thought Harry and Meghan wanted to move in after the Oprah interview. Instead, we've had years of interviews, podcasts, TV shows, books, all talking about their hardships and their truths. How much more can we take? No doubt the king and queen weary of the ongoing war on them by Harry and Meghan. It is, however, in the king's hands to actually do something to stop the association with the royal family. Remove HRH permanently 
strip him of Prince status, and issue a letters patent immediately. At least then there can be no reflection on the royal family and the king will be viewed as a monarch who puts the crown and people first. One royal fan expressed, This thread states it came from a palace insider. To me, this is where the household have taken the breaks off. This is where we all get involved. Most effective will be letters and emails to one's MP and keep on bombarding them each time the toxic pair poke their noses above the parapet. To our gentle king, Sir, we know he is your son, but he and his revolting wife are damaging the country, your country. We want nothing more to do with them. Advise Parliament that it is your wish to remove all styles and titles for this wayward son. All titles. He and his children must be removed from the line of succession. You have given us one son, who even now is a tribute to your beloved mother. He and his beautiful Catherine are deeply loved. So concentrate on William and his family and remove the other one and his ghastly wife from British life and history. I understand King Charles's position as a father. It's hard to cut off a child, but in this case, it's time. Strip them of their titles and ban them from all royal residences and events. They want to earn their own way. Let them. Really, all they're doing now is earning money off of stories about the family. Notice, once the wedding was over, Meghan quit bashing her own family and moved on. Let's not forget that she's been proven to be a liar in the past, so I wouldn't believe anything either of them have to say anyway. Another urged Charles, if the royal family are tired of all the trouble that the Sussexes are causing, then the king, who is head of the monarchy, should do something about it and stop thinking that it's son, so therefore I can't cut him off. He would do well to remember that he has another son, William, who one day will take the throne. It looks like the king is not prepared to do what must be done and shut the door and strip them of titles and everything that's connected to the monarchy. Otherwise, this farce will go on and on, which is no good for the royals or the country. Charles needs to get court actions to sue them or take them to court to produce evidence. He's allowing them to get away with murder. It's time he became ruthless to stop them or the royal family will lose the British people's respect, allowing two brainless people to bring them down and they will if they don't act fast. What do you think of Harry and Meghan's brutal attack on the royal family? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.